The chevron skink is New Zealand's longest lizard, reaching up to 30 centimetres. Yet despite its size, its survival and very existence remained a mystery for much of the last century. So how do you protect an animal that's so tricky to find? Let's find out more about this elusive and striking skink. They were first sort of formally described in 1906 and then for the next 60 odd years they were thought to not, not exist anymore, that they were extinct and part of that was because they, uh, the specimen that it was um, described from was mislabeled so everyone was looking in the wrong place. So this is it, this is Chevron country. Right and here by the creek, this is exactly what they like. Right. A little bit of dappled sunlight bit of um, debris in the dam, just a debris dam made from, you know, bits of leaves, uh, twigs and things that have fallen down off, off branches and collected in the sides of streams. Ideal habitat. And uh, be tricky to find, I imagine. Uh, really hard to find. They look exactly, chevron skinks look exactly like a dead piece of uh, tree fern leaf. Oh. You look. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This, this guy's quite small. He's not very big. He's, he's what we would call um, a sub adult, like a teenager. Yep. Um, he's probably four or five years old. You can see the markings. He's okay. got, they look just like yeah. the dead mm -hmm. tree fern. This guy's lost his tail. Yep. Um, you can see where it's just starting to regrow. He probably lost that last summer. Um, and it, it does grow quite slowly, but eventually it will grow right back. When they've got full tails, they're about, the tails are about one and a half times the size of their body length. So they're, they're very long and whip-like. Um, and they're the longest lizard in the country. They are New Zealand's longest lizard. <laughs> yeah, they are great. They grow up to 30 centimetres or even a little bit longer than 30 centimetres. And then that's, that's the length of my arm, yep. my forearm. Um, and they can be well over 30 grams or up to 50 grams if they're, if they're pregnant or gravid. OK, so we'd better take some measurements of this little guy. See whether we've caught him before. So I'll get you to hold him, Nicky. Yep. The first thing we'll do is we'll take a photo. So we'll take okay. that photo ID of the markings on his chin. And does it take you long going through the photos to work out whether this is Bob or Gary or Josephine? Or? Not, at, not at all. The markings are very specific. We need to measure him. Measure him, right. Measure from his nose to... The nose to vent, vent. length. Snout to vent length. Snout to vent, otherwise known as SVL. 8.3... 83 millimetres. We'll take his weight. Yep. So this measures uh, 13.5 grams. And that's all that we need to do. Perfect. Next, we just let him go. Halima really does have her work cut out for her on Great Barrier Island, trying to look for an animal that makes itself so hard to find. But for the ones we can find, the more we can learn about their quirky survival tactics, the more we can do to protect them. Feel free.